So this video is on three facets of mindfulness <coughs> that need repetition training. So they're important parts of mindfulness generally and they can be used in any context but they need to be trained in, need to be practiced over and over again. So the first one in a way they all go together but the first one that we talk about is clearing the mind. So in terms of the analogy uh, of apps you clear whatever apps are going on or you check what mind apps have opened up in your mind periodically or before a particular task so that you're, you're clear. So this is really important part of being able to be effective and engaged in whatever you do. There isn't all these sort of subliminal, subterranean thoughts and feelings going on, draining your energy, distracting you, and not allowing you to engage wholeheartedly and completely and clearly on what you want to do. So this process of clearing starts at the beginning of a task, but it's also something that's checked for periodically during the task. So you're doing something, you've, you've cleared, you've uh, got yourself engaged and you just check periodically are other subliminal irrelevant trains of thought entering into your mind. You clear them consciously. I'm doing this. So all your mental energy, all your mind, all your attention is on one thing within, without any other mind apps being open while you're doing it. So the second facet is to connect. So connection is coming into the experience of your body, your mood, your emotions, your energy, generally what's going on for you. So it's coming into experience actually. It's not just a mental observation from a distance. It's far from that. It's connecting. So you connect in, you come into experience. So you've cleared your mind and this actually clearing of the mind helps you engage. It helps you pay attention to what's going on. So you come into a sense of your body, how does it feel, your general mood, are you up, down, optimistic, pessimistic, excited, uh, your general uh, emotions, is there something going on in the background that might need clearing before you actually uh, start this task, some nagging uh, fear or resentment or something like that might need clearing. Uh, and a general sense of your energy. Are you buzzy uh, and elated or are you quite even and steady or are you, is your energy quite low? Uh, and the awareness itself makes a difference here because when you're aware of the whole sense of yourself, everything starts to connect and affect everything. So... Uh, if you're calm in your body but buzzy in your mind, coming into the calmness of your body affects the buzzy mind and calms it down, for example. So then, on the basis of clearing and connecting, you have engagement. And this is the engagement with the task or whatever it is that you're going to apply yourself to. So it could also just be applying application. So you are clear what it is that you're going to do and you apply yourself to it. Now one of the principles of applying yourself to something is you you follow through. You don't let a mind up open up and jump you away. You stay with the, the and engage with the task till it's done to your satisfaction in whatever the context is. So in this way, you are clear what you're going to be fully engaged with, wholeheartedly, physically, mentally, and you're up for it. 
And in this way, you can be completely mindful of the task because you're sensing the task on lots and lots of levels. You might feel that you're, something isn't quite right, uh, you've forgotten something. Well, that, remem that sense that something is forgotten is an important part of mindfulness and engaging in a task. So you think, what is that? What is that? And then you remember, I've forgotten that, and then you bring it in, and then you apply yourself with that for previously forgotten topic. So my, my main point is that you need to be repetitively remembering these three main stages and doing them over and over again in ordinary circumstances. When you're just going about doing ordinary things, clear the mind, connect, engage. Clear the mind, connect, engage. And just keep doing it till it becomes second nature or first nature. So when things do get difficult or whether there's a really important task to do, you just do clear the mind, connect and engage clearly. Thank <laughs> you.